everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're Dusk of Ossos, and today we are watching the seventh episode of Cowboy Bebop. So, last episode, the old kid <laughs> um, was killed, um, and now we had we were left with Zebra yeah. being on the ship, still in the comatose state. I'm not 100% sure if he's going to be referenced again yeah. or be a part of the ship. Are they going to take him somewhere? This show is very episodic. There are some things that definitely carry over, but then there's some things that we just kind of leave in episode by episode, which I kind of like. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of unique and cool, and it reminds me of, like, I guess, like, you know, kind of like the Pokemon and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Not that the show Like, there's an overarching me, journey, but, you know, but then like they like, go on an individual yeah. mission, that particular, yeah. like, Which you know, episode. I really liked watching that kind of show, so this makes me excited that, like, it's just, like, we can always experience a new journey, mm -hmm. but with the characters we know and love. Yeah, I'm honestly hoping that we do get back to, like, the continuity aspect sooner rather than later to really find out the whole mm -hmm. backstory between Vicious and Spike. Um, there was obviously that woman that we assume was the person who ended Ended up dying uh, where we saw like Spike holding the flowers mm -hmm. it may or may not be some sort of like love triangle Casey I know you threw that out like uh, at some point like two mm -hmm. episodes ago if I'm not mistaken um, but regardless of that that person I feel like was important to both of them so I mean it could be that it could be you know that she was with one kind of maybe right. messed with the other possibly or it could have been a really good friends I'm not really sure before we get into today's video we want to let you know that you can watch the next three edited YouTube reactions for Cowboy Bebop right now over on our Patreon if you're interested in being one episode ahead check out our lowest tier if you want to be two episodes ahead check out our middle tier and if you want to be three full episodes ahead check out our largest tier we do also have our full length reactions over there where you sync up a copy of your Cowboy Bebop up to our reactions that's available at our middle tier but while you're over there go ahead and check out all the other reactions that we're doing over there the links down in the description below what kind of ship is this mm, it looks like a, Look like a train yeah, it almost kind of does yeah like a freight train like supplies delivery mm -hmm. heavy metal queen what the heck what did that cat no! fly is Space. it alive oh hey, your shift over yeah finally you're blowing smoke old man <laughs> The cat. Oh, hi, Zeros. Hey, VT, what's it gonna be? Zeros is the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Why does he just sit at the bar, too? Yeah, there's something coming down. A bounty head named Decker is supposed to show up here later, and word got out. I got a hangover the size of Neptune. <laughs> I don't even know what the guy Oh, is. God. You look rough. shaped like a dragon. And Faye? Yeah, right. Like she's gonna find him in that place. So. I feel like Faye's gonna end up running into him. This seems like a no. person, right? Hi. <laughs> I'm all yours. Put your hands up. No, we just want to be friends, sweetie. Good friends. <laughs> so we're gonna help her? Oh, <laughs> Since when is it a bounty hunter's job to chase after a woman's butt instead of chasing after money? I feel like the other guys maybe, right? The one who was like all nervous when the name? Oh, no, it's him, yeah! Put a call into the police. Oh my gosh, no, you're being oblivious! And not really oblivious, so you just, you know. Um, yeah. yeah. <gasps> Did you see? What the hell's that? No, what is that? got a thing for reals. An egg. <laughs> Hangover like cure. Mm -hmm. Don't they put like a egg yolk in a whiskey sour, like a traditional one? I'm pretty sure. I think egg white. Mm. Oh, oh his egg. That reminds me of shallow I know, soccer. Just saw that. My go-to hangover food is a double cheeseburger with jalapenos. And a Powerade. Mm -hmm. Powerade slush if it's from Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I'm doing all that with the hangover? You gonna explode? Oh yeah. gosh. Mm. No, what did you feed him? Wine. Bean sprouts are very healthy. They're good. Sprouts? Bean sprouts? Give him some meat. Oh man, that's gross. It's called a prairie oyster. Good for hangovers. I heard of that. Would you drink that? Mm, I've had raw egg before, so... I'd drink it. BT, I think your name is... Adrian, that's just gotta be it, right? 
the same in the right. Bet Adrienne doesn't start with a V. Yeah. You see, we should have stuck with Letitia. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I get that little mountain of cash if I can guess your name. Yeah. I don't remember who started it, but it just kept piling up, and here I yeah. am now sitting on a fat stack. You know. Mm. All to guess your name. Watch him get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spike! Get lost. <laughs> eh? Lion lowlife bounty hunter. I'm not paying for your drink. What are you still doing here? Hitchhiking. Those stooges smashed up my starship. Give him a ride. Come on, let's go. Mind if I take another friend of mine along? This wife's so heavy metal she's queen. She's the heavy metal cream. Heavy queen. Cream? <laughs> cream? <laughs> cream? <laughs> Rock on. Breaker 1-9, Breaker 1-9, to all truckers on the asteroids. This is heavy metal queen. Hey guys, if you see a truck with Sarah's body oh, painted truck. on it. This is a truck, like a truck. That's a truck. Yeah, oh. truck <laughs> yeah. I don't know why that was so amusing. These but are all the other truckers down. and all the other stuff they got. Yeah. They sound like him too. Mm -hmm. Chicago. Got a positive ID on your target Dang. about ten minutes ago. Mm -hmm. yeah, the gun guns. <laughs> Freaking Tiger King. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tiger Space King. Hey Jet, I'm going out. Hold on. <laughs> Look at I, I feel like I like this show more and more. I know. Every episode it makes me like it. I don't even know how to describe what yeah. I like about it. I just it makes me feel good inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a big mistake. No, you pissed her off. I'm gonna say her name's Veronica. Mm, Valerie? What's all this? Isn't this a little risky? Ooh. Uh, gosh. Here goes my dead? 12 million. Yeah. Mm -hmm. BT, you there? If you're alive, say something. I'm okay. Vivian? Takes more than that mm. to get rid of me. I can see that. You gotta get I can out see of that here. Too. Vivian. Decker was selling enhanced nitro, and it's all destabilized now. His ship is packed with it. The whole thing? That's enough nitro to blow this place to shreds. This place is an old mining satellite, and the reactors are breaking up. <gasps> get the hell out now. There. It's up Straight ahead. Straight shot. <laughs> oh, crap. Well. They're just gonna block it off. You shooting a pop gun? You'll never blast through like that. Well, excuse me. I have no artillery. All I have are these pincers. <laughs> there must be a way to get out. Of course there is. Huh? And it's just waiting for us, packed inside that. Oh, they're gonna use it. Explosives. Use your pincer. I don't like this. It's a delicate operation, and I'm not really the delicate type. All right then, don't be so delicate. Let's just go the metal. for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, uh, ah. Come on, girl. What's the worst that can happen? Screw up and we all die. <laughs> <laughs> no stakes. It's fine. <laughs> it's going on a spacewalk. Zeros, get out of the way. We've got to let him in. I feel like it would have been helpful if you like said what you were gonna do before you actually did it. Oh shit. Uh, no. No. No, that's not gonna no. happen. He keeps falling out of things. Can you stop? Oh, yeah, shoot. It'll like shoot you back. Bingo. Okay. Well, that was great. Uh, okay, I got it. The name. Is there a name in there? <gasps> the name. Thanks for the help. Victoria Terpscud, eh? Victoria. <gasps> Victoria. I give your husband my thanks, too. I figured out who you were because of this. Of course, everyone's heard about him. The legendary bounty hunter Terpscud, eh? Oh, that's why she doesn't like bounty hunters. Huh. I'm afraid he's doing all his bounty hunting up in heaven these days. Aww. Mm -hmm. The rest is for your husband. I'm sure that he's got a hangover up there. Oh, that was a sweet moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like mm -hmm. that one so much. I did too. Victoria. Victoria Terpskabe? Yeah, I'm not going to say the last <laughs> name. I'm just going to butcher it. Yeah, I really like this episode mm -hmm. too. And I mentioned it. Like, this this series 
it's interesting because we talked about it being kind of episodic before mm -hmm. this episode and obviously we know that but it's kind of like you know we meet a lot of characters that we're not quite sure if we're ever going to see again but the interactions that we have with them are still really fun. And they're really like some of them are super meaningful like this one and it's like even if we don't meet them again it's like we met a character mm -hmm. that didn't just because I feel like in some shows you meet a character and it's kind of like a throwaway like meh but I feel like each character we meet in the show like they're their own person and like we yeah. feel their full personality. They're impactful for the episode right. whereas like yeah. if it's a continuing story they were just a fleeting right. character yeah. in like a grander story which is really cool how they do that it's like you don't see these characters much but you know them and like mm. they're well developed and you like it makes you feel like yeah they are living in this universe still you know yeah. all right well thank you so much for watching we'll see you all next time bye everyone